<laughs> okay, this call is being ordered Tuesday, August 13th. We'll begin the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Okay, here. Here. Okay, let's sign the journal. Is there a motion to approve the minutes? So moved. Seconded. Okay. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed nay. Okay, motion carried. Uh, old business. Um, old business. I had um, asked our maintenance foreman to do some checking on the uh, side of the CSB building. Uh, I brought, uh, Chamber came up and asked about the murals. They wanted mm -hmm. to kind of update the murals and change out the murals. And uh, Dean had said something about they had, we have some mushrooming, some deteriorating on the side of that building. So he had found somebody to come in and do basically the stucco type and replace the wall. Because he mm -hmm. said, once you start getting into it, it's going to be worse. So the initial quote we got was, 66,000. Well, um, he called another contractor and said, okay, give us uh, other options, uh, you know, siding or anything just to fix the wall. And we're, we're talking anywhere between 45 to $80,000 to do the site of that building. So I know uh, Fred just happened to be here when Dean came in the other day and he's got somebody he knows that's going to at least come look at it, give us some other options. Um, I had contacted Jill to see if there's any sort of grants available for potentially, and this Fred brought this up, that maybe some of this second option, the $80,000 one, would, would fall under a grant for energy savings because we could add insulation to it. Um, so Jill's kind of working on that. Mm -hmm. So I guess just something to think about and how we're going to address that, if you guys have any other ideas that I can work off of. So this other group's looking at it now, or they're going to look at it, this other? Yeah, well, well um, it's, it, I had a, a conversation with the mayor this morning, Mayor Motts, and uh, <laughs> told him, you know, what our problem is, I was trying to see maybe if they could help us since we were going to put city murals and blah, 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 so forth and so on. He brought something to my attention that really, really concerned me. He said, Freddie said, we had a similar situation that happened uh, on, um, they had a wall that fell down. And they had a liability issue where it, it hurt, some, it damaged some cars and so forth. Very similar thing. Apparently the plaster dries out or something or other and started bubbling. And it was right across in their parking lot, right across from um, the Board of Election. And I remember here quite a few years ago that the darn thing did, it fell down. Fortunately, it fell down at night, it didn't hurt anybody, but right away, I see things like that and it's like, oh my God, you know, I'm thinking, I was thinking prior, a couple little blisters and so forth, okay, we need to take care of it. But I think now in light of potential liability issues that we better do something sooner than later. Now, as to what we need to do, and as I mentioned to, uh, uh, Stacy yesterday, um, I've got another couple contractors looking at it, trying to get a couple different opinions. Um, the one of them has come up with this kind of insulating factor. It's this, these new walls or something. It's a more expensive program, but right away when I hear the word insulating, I think about, ooh, maybe there's some government money in there. Maybe there's some sort of advantages if we go that route you know, if there's any anything available versus the whole run of the process paying from the county's money. I don't know, but it concerns me. It, it, there seems to be some severe bubbling on there. If that means that the wall is starting to detach itself, the stucco, stucco's trying to detach itself from the rest of the building, I don't know, but I think it's something that we're going to have to address and it ain't gonna, may not be pretty. Was the building that the city had that happened, was it a building that they were using. I'm just out of curiosity. Okay, uh, right. Like a building that has had, had heat in it. I mean, it's had heating and cooling in it. No, very, very similar thing. It, it right across. It's the municipal parking lot right across the board of election. 
So the building that would be it, it, as you, the wall would have been adjacent to Washington uh, versus it wasn't one of the buildings on when you drive into the parking lot. Was that one in the, to the back? No, the one that when you drive in the park, if, if, if my back is facing Board of the Board of Elections, you drive in, it's the wall that's on the right. Right, okay. So that is a building that there's stuff in, the people in. Yeah, yeah. There's a yeah. And uh, I mean, uh, I was down there with uh, our maintenance people yesterday with Dean, and apparently there's some water that's getting in behind it. So there's, there's a lot of things that are going on that we got. I wonder if insurance, is that some sort of an insurance because of water damage? It was not a result of a storm or anything? But it was no, because that, okay. that bubbling's been there for a while. Okay. The bubbling has been there for a while? Yeah. Yeah. It's just slowly getting, slowly getting just worse. I, I think um, a quick fix at the time, it was decided to paint it and might have been a band-aid solution. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. One of these folks come and look at it. Well, I, I put a couple calls in yesterday, and uh, they have not returned my call. Um, what would be I, 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 I hope that by next week they have something I can report back to this commission as to different options. I, I think that would be nice if these folks go ahead and look at it. We're you know we want to get it done, but we're not you know not do it next week, but. Uh, this group will do stucco for forty-five thousand. This group will do whatever siding for eighty thousand. This group will insulate and do whatever, and it just have options, and we'll have to kind of make a decision from there, I guess. And I did call Earl just to, mm -hmm. and he Good said idea. when he comes up here the next time he will look at it to see if it's because he does some of the cost savings and yeah. energy. Yeah. So yeah. he was going to look at it when okay. he gets up here. And again, that's right. When the one of the options was kind of a insulation foam and along with the facade when I hear the word insulation I think ooh maybe there's some funds available it's worth a try I yeah. wouldn't I wouldn't pin my hopes on it I, yeah I agree I agree um and and would, that'll also give Jill time to let's see what you look and see maybe in maybe in a couple weeks we can have all this info I don't know I I, I would hope so I mean I don't know if we're in imminent danger but I think it's just something that we're just going to have to fix it, and, and sooner is better than later. But I'm not saying it's got to be done in the next week or two. But right, right. again, I didn't think about that. But when the mayor did mention that, that uh, started out kind of the same type of issue, and eventually there's come crumbling down. And if it's getting over that, well, two of the quotes are clearly over the fifty thousand dollar. We'd have to put it out for bid. Okay. Oh, okay. okay. Right. Well, that's not a bad thing either. Then you bring people right. to the yeah. table. Yeah. Okay. Well, you'll you'll let us know yeah. then when we have the info and. Yeah. Just wanted to keep cool. you updated. All right. Anything else for Nicole? Holly? Um, just and it's it's on our list that we have the lease agreement as far as with um, the USDA lease, the Farm Service Agency out there. Mm -hmm. I met with because I was. In that building, um, regarding building, we have lots of building issues, don't we? <laughs> regarding building, um, just for other reasons and looking at it, and the first time I'd been into the basement of that building, um, and at that time was thinking, wow, I hate to see us have to stick, stick much building and in, money into this particular building based on various things. And then to learn more about the lease um, agreement and what USDA was looking for, and it just it's their, let's say, cookie cutter process, I guess, is the best way I can describe it for doing all the leases and the way they do it through GSA now. And their 10 year leases, et cetera, but they have certain things that they want included, such as paint and new carpet, which they do work in the cost of paying for that carpet um, in the building and so forth. So I was interested in looking at their leases um, and asking some questions because it's it, they're really pretty complicated. And so they, we met with Stacy and um, Cheryl. Cheryl, Cheryl, sure. and uh, and she kind of went over that and explained it to me and so forth. And you know, I'm very comfortable with the fact of moving us on that resolution, which we'll cover here later. But just to it just it's frustrating to me that yes, they're going to pay for it, but I'm sorry, that's just federal money and uh -huh. so forth. And I just don't see that that space all needs new carpet. Uh -huh. You know, the new space they're leasing that they are now adding to their rent lease agreement. Um, is not carpeted and needs carpet, yes. And there might be a couple of other areas, but some of that carpet is three years old or so. But 
it is what it is, and they do they are paying for it. Um, but okay. I don't know. It was just it was just one of those things of interest and mm -hmm. and so forth for to yeah, interesting to me at the time. Not for that reason that I was in that building going, what the heck, you know? Yeah. <laughs> not the best use of that, federal money. No, it is not. And like I said, that that basement out there is just very interesting and unique and full of a lot of crap. <laughs> Quite honestly, it's part of my language, but <laughs> um, but you know, an, another issue on the radar. Okay, wonder if that three-year-old carpet could be used somewhere else. I, I, I don't, don't know. If they can and actually, I think mm -hmm. Tia had mentioned that because you know Nikki's been working on this, so they and she was out there, and Tia caught her and said, "Well, if you're doing this work for FSA, I you know I, I, she of course wanted new well, carpet too, carpet. but." Uh, talking with her on the phone, uh, she had said something about, well, I wonder if, you know, if that can be cleaned and just put that in our room because they don't have any specific yeah. mm -hmm. requirements like the So if we work GSA. with the gentleman doing the carpet, we can find out that stuff. Maybe they can do something. But, yeah, otherwise, like that's, we probably don't plan on paying for carpet in that area. But, like I mm -hmm. said, they are covering the cost of the carpet and they are. with a 4% mm -hmm. um, on top of it. But... Okay. It is what it is. Okay. Well, thank you for working on that. Yeah. That's it. For That's you? it. Okay. Brett? Yeah. I had a couple things under old business. Thursday, we have that Blanchard River Coalition meeting. In, in, is that in Finley? I yes. assume it's at the, at the commissioner's office in Finley? It is. And it's that's at 11? Mm -hmm. 11 or 11.30. I have 11. Okay. Okay. Now, do we want to meet here then at say 10? And well, I was going to bring up. I'm going to attend the the um, Center for Innovative Food Technologies breakfast. And Bowling Green. Lad is no longer our congressman, but he is the speaker, and he's talking of various topics that do impact Seneca County. So, okay. I was going to go to that and then okay. go straight down to Finley. So, unless any of you okay. want yeah. to go to okay. the breakfast meeting. No, I don't. Not that Okay. You, so I will meet you in Finley. Do you That's want to meet here? Yeah, yeah. Meet, uh, what time you want to meet here? Jeff wants, to, Jeff wants to drive. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we better, leave it, we better leave at 9. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a little slower. You know. How about we leave, meet here at 10.15? All right, all right. Um, you want to invite Tia as well? She may she may be figured on driving over separately. She's welcome to ride with us if okay. she's not afraid. <laughs> Unless she wants to do a breakfast with me and go down with me. <laughs> That would be Take awesome. Your this, is a, this is a free breakfast. So. Okay, so we're 10 15 here. All right. uh, the other thing was uh, did I hear you say at regional planning the other night that that State Route 53 meeting is canceled? For yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. Let's it will be rescheduled in August, or, uh, uh, September. That's the coalition. The coalition. Okay. Meeting, yeah. The big one that we were all part of. Okay. okay. All right. So um, we'll cancel that for All right. Let's go to new business then. Um, do you want to let. Uh, Mr. He said he would wait until I afterwards. Okay. Yeah. Right. He's retired, so he's, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he's got all the time. Okay, I have a an appropriation adjustment within the general fund, moving two hundred fifty dollars from workers' comp into supplies, two hundred dollars from workers' comp into other expense, and six thousand two hundred fifty dollars from workers' comp to professional services. I think I mentioned one other time our workers' comp premiums have been paid. We had a minimal, we over budget just a little bit, j just in case we didn't know what it was going to be. We were done with that payment. Um, we've had a couple mailroom supplies. Uh, the ink seems to, we seem to be going through more ink in our machine, so we, we needed a little bit more in there. And the professional service was the additional funds for the John Larson to do the notes, the additional notes for the, for the year, because he'll have to do them. Again, we had money in place for him to do it mm -hmm. the first time, but that was budgeted for his normal. We do do that in November every year. That's so. the work he does for like the sewer district that comes out of the sewer district yes. fund, right? Yep, okay. exactly. Yep. I have a resolution authorizing a fund transfer be made to the pavement resurfacing project 201, moving $194,233.95 from contract projects to the pavement resurfacing. I have a supplement to the permit appropriation for the general fund requesting $26,496.24 into salaries, $384.19 into Medicare, 
$3,920.74 into PRS for a total of $30,801.17. This is part of uh, Common Pleas 2. They, um, it's our, their general special projects fund portion of um, the magistrate's salary. They okay. basically give us a percentage of the magistrate's fee into the general fund, so they're appropriating that. I have a supplement to the permit appropriations for the general fund for 2013. Um, this is for the airport uh, contract services, $45,090. Uh, this is the uh, one of the other obstruction removal contract we will get. Is it the 90? It's been a 90-10 one, 90-10 split. So we'll get 90% uh, of that back. We just have to invoice. It's a reimbursement grant. <coughs> I have a pretty quick turnaround on that. Isn't it? Yes. Yep. They've been pretty good at getting those turnaround. We had one year they were not, but since then they've been really good at getting those those back to us. Um, I have an appropriation adjustment for the capital projects fund two fifteen, uh, moving fifteen thousand from contingencies to the jail line. This is to move forward with that. Um, he had he has some leaky pipes. The the heating system in there. He's got some joints leaking. Uh, we looked to try to get it done last year, but the season came in too quick last year. So he's tr going to try to get this done. Um, we had already approved approved it. We just didn't move the money for it. It's in capital projects, but we just didn't move it over to the jail line. So this is so he can get, move forward with that before winter gets here because it's coming quicker than we'd is like it, it to. <laughs> Summer hasn't got here yet. <laughs> yeah. Or it only was here for a week and it didn't stay. No. Um, I have a supplement to the permit appropriations for the probate special projects fund, 093, putting $1,850 into equipment. <clears throat> I have an appropriation adjustment for the delinquent care and custody fund, 159. Moving $766.94 from other expense to PRS. I have a resolution authorizing the amendment 4D service contract between Seneca County Common Police Court 1 and the Seneca County, uh, on behalf of the Seneca County Department of Job and Family Services. I have a resolution authorizing commissioner's office staffing to sign signing authority for all administrative documents deemed necessary for the functions of the commissioners and maintenance office. Um, this was kind of at the request of the auditor um, just to clear up our books since we're doing stuff for the maintenance maintenance department now uh, allowing in case Tanya's not here she usually does the bills for maintenance allowing Nikki to be able to do those. And, uh, so that's kind of just to help the auditor clean up her books to make sure it was in that we had signing authority for it. Uh, I have a resolution terminating Samantha Brickner as the intermediate maintenance worker effective July 23rd, 2013. Uh, she was one of our summer youth uh, cleaners and has moved on. I have a Resolution authorizing Stacy Wilson County Administrator to sign the supplemental lease agreement with USDA for the Fine Farm Service Agency building lease retroactive to August 8th, 2013. This again is just the um, the agreement to get it started. Once the lease comes in, you you will sign the lease. It's just authorizing the our negotiations negotiations to go forward. But the lease will be signed by you. This is just to get keep the lease moving. And I think that's all I have. Okay, is there a motion? Yes. Seconded. Okay, moved and seconded. Any discussion? Uh, the, the two other summer youth we have seem to be working out well. Does that seem the case from your perspective? Yes. Okay. Yep. Okay. So um, both of them have done an excellent job since we've been here and we've asked um, all of our buildings, CSB, the RTA, even the annex, and they've utilized them for shredding, for cleaning, some clerical work scanning. Um, you know, they did some deep cleaning for us. I think they're going to do washing some carpets and okay. uh, just have a mixture of everything. They went out to the dog warden's office. And okay. We're getting caught up there at the health department area. Yep. Okay. Good. Yep. Okay. Yep. I haven't heard any complaints yet, so. okay. <laughs> but we'll follow up with them to make sure okay. their areas are great. Great. So, yep. thank you. 
Other discussion? Okay, roll call, please. Yes. 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 Okay, um, let's hear from Dave Gross. Dave was the local emergency planning committee director. Is that the right title, or what's what's the right title? Planning coordinator. Planning coordinator. Okay. Yes. Okay, every year, we as the county has the revisor hazmat plan, and I do that. And um, you know, mostly the, the things that get changed the most is usually contact numbers or maps. Any facility that's uh, extremely has extremely hazardous chemicals has got to report to the state if it's a reportable quantity. And then we get copies of those reports, and the fire departments get copies of those reports. Then we have to, you know, draw, you know, a little map for them. You know, if they got to evacuate the zone. Uh, you know, if there's a release at the, at the factory or, you know, facility, and um, there's got to be contact numbers, and that stuff changes every year. The, the bulk of the plan does not change. This is the plan, and the state's got like a crosswalk that we have to go through, or I have to go through, and make sure everything's met, and, you know, they have the shows and the shoulds and stuff like that that you've got to meet, and uh, that's, that's the plan. Um, <clears throat> there's also, when, after you guys sign off on this thing, um, I have to give a copy to the state, and the state evaluates it and looks, looks it over to make sure it meets all the criteria. Then they vote on it, the State Emergency Response Commission, and um, you know, and we're good for it until next year. The LAPC also has a hazmat drill once a year, and, um, and as far as history goes, so well, you know why we're doing this, you know why the um, back in 1984, I don't know if any of you remember, but in India there was a release at a Union Carbide plant. And like 4,000 people were killed, so they, uh, you know, there usually something like this happens, you know, something big, and then, you know, we figure, well, we got to have a plan for this. So, um, you know, across the United States, they started writing plans for, you know, hazardous materials um, releases and response, and uh, you know, and then in 1988, we had the Tau Lane spill close to Old Fort, or Sun Pipeline, uh, you know, and I think like 5,000 people were evacuated in '89. We started writing the hazmat plan and the disaster plan for the county, you know, and uh, we've been doing it ever since. And I needed signatures on those okay. two sheets, which we do every year, and you will get a copy of everything um, when it's all, you know. Okay. I scan and put it on disk for a lot of fire departments and so on. Still want printed copies and, you know, so it's the option of whatever they want. And the drill you did this year was a chemical spill at Heidelberg and some students were injured. Yes. And, mm -hmm. yeah. Every once every four years, we have to have a full scale drill, and um, some drills are tabletops, and some are like functional where you're just like testing one thing, you know, maybe like the Red Cross may test, you know, activating their shelters, you know. Um, but there's certain criteria, and those are all evaluated. Uh, there's a state evaluator at them, and we've got evaluators for each, you know, objective that we're testing during a drill. Well, thank you. Thank sure. you for what you do and for what you're for. Yeah. Any questions for Mr. Gross? Any for resolution? Okay. Yeah. Um, I have authorizing the hazardous materials plan as submitted by the Emergency Planning Commission. Is there a motion? So moved. Seconded. Okay. Any discussion on that? Once again, we just thank you for your work and appreciate it. Thanks. Okay, roll call, please. Commissioner Zoller? Yes. Commissioner Stacy? Yes. Yes. Okay, Gene, uh, do you have something for us today? I do not. Okay. Any public comment this morning? Yeah. Okay. On the cemetery. They've started, the, the scouts and the leaders have started out there and they've got the tour up pretty bad, but it, when it's done, it'll be great. A couple of years, a year ago, I asked for a sign for the cemetery because I know a lot of people don't know that cemetery exists. The one person that sat in your chair, Holly, uh, said he would do it. Well, it never got done. I think there should be a sign out there stating that there are cem the county cemeteries back there. And I don't think it should be such a little plastic sign. I think it should be something that's Pretty nice, pretty big, pretty, uh, that will stand there a long time. I just think there should be a sign where that cemetery is at. You think it should be out by the road or back at the 
probably out by the road. You put it back by the cemetery, and uh, I don't know if anybody could even find it back there. And there is other signs out there. Well, the big sign stating what's in those other buildings. You know. Can we go with this recyclable thing again? Don't they have recyclable signs? Yeah, the the, the company we usually use that ran out of um, Green Springs is no longer. Green Spring. He's no, no, they longer, no longer do that. They no longer do that. The so, SOS had it. They don't yeah, it yeah. If, so if we do it, I would think it should be there with the rest of them, but not not something separate. You know, it says USDA, Salt and Water, Dog Warden. County Cemetery. Yeah, so is it the same drive? It's the same yeah, drive, yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 you would want it to. Yeah, I, do we I, have a I, sign out there for all of those? Mm -hmm. there are, we, it's we on do. one all set one. of posts out there. There's, yeah, lists all the different things. I, I, I just hesitate to encourage people to drive back there. <laughs> a lot of times that's not in the greatest condition, that lane, you know, when during muddy times. I, I, you know what I mean? Yeah, I hate, I hate are, to, It's amazing how many people do drive back there. Yeah. Over the years when I was mowing back there, it was amazing. Uh, there'd be flowers on different graves, yeah. and I was surprised at that because a lot of those are quite old. They're quite old. Uh, of course, I found a couple times, I found a bunch of beer bottles back there, too. <laughs> those are probably different people going back there. <laughs> You're probably watering the flowers. <laughs> Other than the... Other than the handful of indigents in recent years, there there's no recent graves there other than no. Uh, but there's one grave out there that I can't remember the date, but it goes way back, yeah. and that always has flowers. Really? Yeah. I shouldn't say always, but there somebody goes back, and I've noticed there there's a number of traffic patterns back there. I, I have noticed. Not recently, but I mean, uh, yeah. yeah. So the sign we get out there is just, it's got like a board that says, you know, the county departments. Then we can attach, get a board that says county cemetery and just put that on the bottom. Kind of like when the entrance, when you come in 53 and they list the factory district and mm -hmm. where it's Same got one. each. Back, is that kind of what it is? Out there? I never wrote it. Yeah, I don't know if, it's, if they're individual boards or they're all on the same board, but it's I, I know one, I've, it's I've read it. It's all one board. It's probably as big as this wall. Yeah, it's a pretty good size. There's squares. Each. I don't remember. Oh, that, that's set on, board. set on the big board. Yeah, we'll have to look at it. Yeah. Yeah. We can look at some what options there. Yeah. I mean, I think it's something we can get from that. I mean, there's recent. Well, even uh, a Mark makes up signs. Oh, Zimmerman? Mm -hmm. He orders them in, yeah. He might have some suggestions. But I like the thing with the recyclable. You know, that would kind of match what's yeah. out there. Yeah. Right? You yeah. Might, you yeah. Want to coordinate with. Um, could could we would it be all right with the board if we have the administrator or assistant yeah. take a look at see what it would cost to match up something that, that would be similar and get a get a price and maybe a little picture of it or something. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, see what that I don't know if there's room on that board that's out there now. Yeah, I don't know. Without going out looking at it, I don't know either. I think it's full. Isn't yeah. It? Is that right? I thought there was space at the bottom, but maybe not. Maybe I, not. I yeah. Say I see it, but I can't. I, have, yeah. Yeah, I agree. The, I'll look at it. If you look okay. at it and come back with a recommendation. <clears throat> okay. We got it fixed up nice back there. We'll go back and look at it. That's right. That Only in good weather. Only good weather. <laughs> Don't go back now. It doesn't look nice. Okay. <laughs> but it will when they're done, I'm sure. Okay. Okay. Thank you for bringing that to our attention. Anything else from the public? All right. Anything else from the board? Huh? Nothing. I got one. Yeah, uh, a couple things. I had a meeting. We were turned down for the neighborhood revitalization grant and the critical infrastructure grant, which is a those were each three hundred thousand dollar grant. So we were turned down, and so I inquired from the whoever there was an individual that we had a letter here, and I called them and and wanted to understand why we were turned down because remember the neighborhood revitalization revitalization for $300,000 for Fostoria mm -hmm. and the critical infrastructure was I think Bettsville and New Regal. New, was New it New Regal? Regal? Okay, okay. And uh, they mentioned one of them, there was like 27 people that were granted and there was like 70 some um, uh, applicants and so forth. The long and short of it is they are holding a, a seminar 
for those individuals that didn't receive the grant sometime within the next couple months. And as he mentioned to me, I think we need to make kind of a bigger deal out of it. As he mentioned to me, he said, if you come to that seminar, and I've, I've asked um, our regional planning, Jill, to go to that and to understand why they didn't get it so that when they reapply, he said, you are, you've got a much, much better chance of getting it next time. Okay. So I, I think it would behoove uh, us to uh, ask Jill to go and maybe even one of us commissioners to go. I think a lot of it, as I'm seeing, is kind of the squeaky wheel syndrome. You know, if you make yourself aware of it or make, you, make kind of a nuisance to yourself, the best way to get rid of you is just give you the grant and get, get on your way. <laughs> so. Um, so I, I was encouraged, it wasn't anything that we did wrong. Uh, there was just more applicants, and I thought it was extremely encouraging. He said that if you go to this seminar, he said your odds of getting the grant next time are just dramatically increased. Okay. So um, I would be happy to, to go to that seminar or something in the next couple of months with Jill to just kind of to go through the motions or if some one of you other commissioners would do that. Idea. Well, I think she mentioned that they were going to, I don't know if she knew the date at the time when she told us that the grant Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. But I wanted to inquire personally it. with the people that approved the grants that sent us the letter and to, to find out if we crossed our T's and dotted our I's mm -hmm. properly and, and what we had to do in the future. And I thought that was very enlightening when, when they brought that out. Great idea. Yeah. Uh, Next thing is, is I've been approached by um, an individual, it's Cindy Dunn, it's Elaine, Elaine Hunt's daughter. Uh, she approached me last year on it, and I thought there wasn't sufficient time to do it, but she would like to, uh, for Victoria, is Victorian weekend or Victoria, what have you, the Victorian weekend that they have in December, and have like, a, um, like an ice skating rink down at the where the old courthouse used to be and uh, to try to make a little more festive gathering place for over that weekend or the a couple weekend period uh, of course I expressed to her that you know the insurance purposes that and the finance the whole thing that she would have to come up with the whole process to do that and uh, talking with County Administrator uh, Stacy she said that we would have to get approval of uh, Judge Shuff who's the Administrative judge. The administrative judge down there, and I, I've uh, consulted with uh, Judge Shuff, and he said he had no problem with it. So I just wanted to run it by you guys. We're not talking about any county funds or anything of that nature, but and she would this would have to be through private donation, and they would have to clean up afterwards. But uh, if my fellow commissioner, does that, do, does that hurt the grass at all? I have no idea. I, I don't know how they're going to put something down. I mean, they don't just flood the grass. They must put something down. Well, it wasn't right. a create the rank. Nikki that I, said that there's some kind of yeah they create them somehow, but it has to be it's some sort of something that contains the water and border that has like a cooling thing in it. I don't know. It's like a the grass is dormant. Then it's probably okay. I, I just that'd be my only concern is that they somehow kill the grass under there. It isn't the luscious grass in the world, but at least it's something. Yeah, <laughs> but grass it is needs work. That, that grass needs some, some work. Come next fall. I can see fall anyway, yeah, but. if this comes to fruition and she's able to get enough uh, donors and able to, to put the program together, that it really would be kind of a nice event over Victoria weekend and when a lot of visitors come to town and, and just kind of a, a nice fun event and she just wanted to see if we would be receptive to it as commissioners and that I've went out and I've uh, sought the approval of the judges and the judge and he had no problem with it so I just wanted to get your opinion and so I could go to her and say you got to come down I guess you have to fill some yeah, like our out. Building, our space permit or whatever they yes. they covers certainly everything else. Need yeah. the liability insurance on their part so the county's not oh, I mean I could see ice skating and mm -hmm. all those kind of issues but, but she can put it together I mean would you be in favor of allowing that to happen I I think we want the courthouse square to be used. That's what it's for. It just they want to make sure it doesn't hurt the grass too yeah. too badly. It's the only concern I have. And I guess the other thing would be if they're doing over a couple weekends and how. Is Victoria like, is weekend that, is it one weekend or two I weekends? Don't the, I don't know. It's only one. Weekend. It's only one weekend. Only one weekend. Oh, okay. okay. I was going to say be concerned of December. Yeah. people being able to get into it when they don't want people in it, or is it uh, an issue, or how do they do that? But if it's only one weekend, that's not going to be a problem. Yeah. 
it had to be policed and, and fenced off and however. It, we would certainly I would want her to make a more formal proposal to this board, but at this point we can give her permission, she can proceed with what she needs to do and then come back and make a formal proposal. Would that be a right. okay. proper thing to yeah. tell her? Yeah, I don't okay. even know that she needs do you need a formal proposal? No, I'd be curious to know how it how it's gonna function, but I don't know that yeah. If she would like to do that for I, I think it would be and also it helps for promote the PR it. standpoint sure, and sure. promote it and, and it's a it's a good thing for the community. Don't know how she's gonna make ice in December if it's yeah. forty degrees, but mm -hmm. that's not my problem. <laughs> <laughs> do you have anything else? No, that's it. Okay. Mrs. Wilson, you yep. Uh, the only thing I had, a uh, courses annual meeting will be Friday, August twenty third at nine thirty AM at the Quest Conference Center in Columbus. Uh, usually Just, either can I I mean is is that an important for us to go to does it offer any value or is it just go there and shake hands and kiss babies <laughs> uh, i think she's talking about just gonna say tanya usually go to that yeah it's either tanya or i usually go to that um it looks it appears the voting members used to be uh mr nutter mr sauber i know they had previously had so that authorized tanya and i have voting authority because they kind of quit going so i don't know if this is a new form or if they just sent me a reminder uh, that I would need a vote voting representative and then if you know I can't go or Tony can't go then the other one of us could go um, but it just kind of it's a annual meeting that it'll update on all the counties on the areas of liability the pros and cons and just talking about I mean just the changes few, yeah any changes that are that are coming forward and this is mainly on the you know, the liability side, buildings, vehicles. Mm -hmm. uh, it's more valuable for the staff in, in the getting updated on policy changes and things like yeah. that. So you learn some. Yeah, yep. So I didn't know if any of you would be interested in going or, um, and if you wanted to put us down or if you guys were going for a voting and alternate voting. Any thoughts from the board? <coughs> I'm fine with staff taking it. My only for the first time since I'm a newbie, uh, I thought I'd really want to go to Columbus. When is that? <laughs> Friday the 23rd, and they are going to have Craig, I guess if you're an Ohio State fan, Craig Krenzel was a quarterback who led Ohio State University <laughs> undefeated <laughs> season in 2002. Yeah, yeah. Sorry, he's got a new guest speaker for that. What time that. is it? Um, it starts at 9.30, and it's usually over by noon. Oh, so it's a short thing. Um, I'm working on something. I'd be happy to go. I mean, not that I'm trying to take something away from you, Stacey. I'd love to go with you. Okay. Um, but just as a newbie, mm -hmm. I mean, okay. go away and maybe I can learn something to teach an old dog mm -hmm. new tricks. Well, sure. why don't we have the staff go, then any commissioner who would like to go as well okay. can, can okay. just there you go. ride along. Okay. Okay. What's it called? Corsa membership, annual membership meeting. Of course, is our group insurance. We'll, we'll coordinate later. Okay. okay, did you have anything else? Nope. Okay, the only thing I had was uh, disappointed that we did not win the pie eating contest at the Attica <laughs> Fair. Oh, yeah, how'd we do? How'd we do, Holly? Uh, we sent the commissioner with off the biggest mouth. Off, off the record, the, record the sheriff almost got us disqualified because he brought spoons. <laughs> <laughs> However, did you at least, then we thought that would be a good thing, but it didn't happen. <laughs> did you at least place? No. I mean, play yeah, show? I mean, uh, <laughs> did he even come in third? I don't, think anybody really I don't know that anybody really placed, but the, the title of the Piety Champion went to the mayor of Bloomville. He, he won. Okay. But I think the person, besides those who were being directly targeted, I think the sheriff caught most of the extra excess being thrown <laughs> from from the participants to his left. So, um, yeah. So the fighting kind of broke down. And, uh, Thank yeah. you. For I, really I flinging and throwing, and, <laughs> and there were sprinkles in the air. You thought it was raining sprinkles. Somebody heaped oh, away. Yeah, so. Thank you for representing the great. old tradition. It was great fun, so make sure one of you sign up next year. All right. Okay, we'll get rid of it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, is there a motion to adjourn?
I make a motion we adjourn. Okay. Uh, Second. We're adjourned at 1039. <laughs>